So go, but normally we like to rant and we, we rant. That's, that's not an We're still going to rant. We're, def- <laughs> we're definitely <laughs> ranting. But we've got a bit of a, a treat today, right? Hmm. We uh, fa- probably discovered the most free to play friendly uh, PvP uh, this meta breaking discovery uh, for the lot. I don't know. Since the beginning of this game, right? Yeah. I, I feel like this is massive because it doesn't just. It's not just one character, right? It it enables like any other characters you previously built. And Correct. so what we're referring to is this little gem right here. Good old Gorkin. Now Goomba, tell me why. Tell, tell me you why. why. It gives people a second chance of living. So therefore, if you take fatal damage is one of his passives or whatnot, they get 20% of their max HP back, and they're invincible for two seconds, and that is almost enough to do more damage. Yeah, because I mean, there are a lot of assassins out there, or, you know, squishier characters that just don't normally <laughs> get that opportunity, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, all of a sudden, bing, bang, boom, A plus Goken are suddenly making waves in Final Showdowns and stuff. So, for example, if we go check out, and for, we're not just, you know, saying this for, for the lack, you know, sake of saying it. Goomer and I are also putting our money where our mouth is and running it in our showdown <laughs> teams. We both hit top 32. Uh, now, may, these might not be optimal, like team two or team threes, but um, we tested it against the Goom lineup. Uh, by the way, this is called Team Try Me. That, that's the, the official name of it. Uh, and I think you're in group three, right? I am in group two. Group two. Bottom right. right bottom right. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so it's working against a multitude of lineups, including Bison lineups. Uh, team, it's beating Team Goom, which is still very popular in our battle zone, even though the Viper buff should really like sway people from using that team. Correct. Uh, so it's incredibly relevant. Then not only that, we've got a little bit of a treat. Um, so I've also put it up in my show, uh, ladder defense, and wouldn't you know it, we had our good friend Phoenix hit me as a bit of a test. And yeah, he's 27 levels above me. The team he used was Summer Yang, Chun Li, uh, you know, Soul Powered Akuma, at least, you know, level 40, and Nero. This is not a standard team you would verse, but this is one that we come to expect, you know, from people who do typically spend and are willing to put some money in the game. Again, completely fine. But let's see how close this fight was. Because th- this this gives me hope, um, and there will be something I have to explain after the first super here. Now, it go- now we're going to do Summer Yang. Great. Now notice that Goken did not do a C two, therefore Darson did not do a C three. That is currently what looks to be a bug. It, it, he said he was in use, so he couldn't do any skills, but there was no reason for him to. To be in use, he has no triggered ability at A plus or anything like that. Um, so we're not sure why that happens as of yet. But if I switched it to flanker C two instead of Goken C two, I mean, look, look how this fight's going out. We've already had. I, I don't think that any of them are proc yet, right? Uh, weirdly enough, I actually can't see what you're screaming, but uh, hopefully, what what, oh. you're, what you're doing is fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Uh, we, we, I didn't want to interrupt. We, we had a flow going, you know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, that's okay. Uh, now down to the Nero Dalson 1v1. Uh, I can see now. Yeah. <clears throat> now, that was a 27 levels below against a what would be considered a Whaley sort of team and B with a bug that caused the loss, realistically. If Dawson did an extra C3 there, or I used flanker C2 instead, all of a sudden, that is a winning matchup for an A-plus Goken team. And not only that, Akuma is also soul-powered a bit. Uh, you see the purple stars on him as well. It's, yeah. He, he's a little bit buffier. Yeah, there, there, there is some big commitment in that team. There, there, this is not a small team to be up against. So... The viability of this is through the roof, right? 
the possibilities mm. are endless because any other characters that maybe were too squishy previously to be brought into play all of a sudden have a have a leg to stand on, you know? For PvP, yeah. For PvP. This any sort of testing that we do is PvP related because uh it's it's what the it's the content we like to focus on. So if we spar now, for instance, and you want to run your your team, King Goo. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Now the the reason why I liked using Goken C2 uh was because of the Steel Thunder buff that he was providing to people. Um but for sake of argument, I'm not going to be running that. I'm going to be running Flanker. No, no, I will be running it just to show that it, it still can work. It's just we don't know why it doesn't sometimes. Uh, wait, do you want me to add the Hugo assist that I adjusted because of this lineup? Yeah, sure. Okay, because I think it might actually beat it because I had to readjust everything. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll find out. I, I can't remember for the life of me. Yeah. And then Dalsum C3 comes in. So even though you've got Zangief on your lineup, the amount of burn damage this team actually does uh, is insane. And just kind of pushes through that resistance. Yeah. And then you'll eventually notice that, like, the whole team will get procced in terms of um, uh, Goken's passive. Yep. Like, they so, haven't even procced yet. Yeah, only so, Goken has. Yeah, only Goken's procced yet. He's dead now. But we still got the procs on the other two members, or all three members, I should say. Because his passive is still active, even, up, even while dead. Which yeah. is insane. And once my flanker dies, which is now, it's pretty much game over. I yeah. have nothing. I don't even have a Lena. Yeah, I think Elena died because of the FS30, Elena. Yeah, the, the, yeah teams do not do FS30. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 PvP is horrible. Yep. But everything else is good. Agreed, but... Look, living proof that an A plus Gorkin is incredibly useful. Now, Mike, like he, I've given him some gear now, but the testing we initially did was that blank double S gear. There was no levels into it. It wasn't even faction geared. It was just was just that initially. And then, obviously, after I've seen his usefulness, I'm like, you know what? I'm happy to commit resources to him. That makes a lot of sense. But for a special summon character to be usable at this level in PvP, like we're talking higher level teams, like. Maybe not against the Viper teams just yet. Maybe once he's, he's a bit you know higher up and his shields start being bigger, that'll be the case. But I'm incredibly content with the way he's at now. Yeah, it helps. It helps a lot of characters out that weren't like with our list of like PvP. Like we generally put up a spreadsheet. We we had most of the squishies just at low low tiers because of, like they just don't live enough. Yeah, they just now, die before they're able to do their like job. Yeah. Now Goken, like, brings a whole new life. <laughs> a second chance. Uh, and there's soon to be a third chance. Soon to be a third as, chance. Yes, as long as you get six cars. That's correct. Yeah, so, yeah, the, is... the potential with this triple S character is absolutely nuts. But till then, he's still incredibly useful at low level. Even at A, if you just pulled one Goken, you could still use, make use of him. My, I just was lucky enough to pull two in my, you know... Given tickets. Yeah, he didn't have a lot either, so it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Hopefully they fix that bug soon, though. Yeah, where we, where we have pity. Pity's yep. good. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 